almost been a year in the making, but the plaza sale was finalized on Friday to HP Village Partners out of Dallas. There is a press conference taking place today involving uh, city leadership to announce that uh, big exchange. Exciting times for Kansas City. Kate Marshall is here. She is the founder and the president of the Plaza District Council. She joins us on KCMO in Kansas City. Kate, good morning. Thanks so much for the time. And um, what's this morning and this week like for you as the Plaza gets set for some new ownership down there? Good morning, Pete. Um, Thanks for having me. Well, I think as as you know, and a lot of other folks around town feel, there's a tremendous amount of excitement and uh, optimism. What's the biggest thing that you want to see, Kate, the um, new ownership group do to improve the plaza, to take it to the next level? Well, they have all kinds of exciting plans because they've, they've done this before. They've done a beautiful job with Highland Park Village and a couple of other equally well-turned-out retail shopping centers around the country. We expect that with that kind of expertise and knowledge, they're going to put in uh, an array of stores, both the high-end kind of uh, beautiful stores that they feature in Dallas and some more approachable ones. Um, I think that's going to really turn things around, but I don't think that's going to happen overnight. I know that they have, uh, the, the owners have talked about how security will be job one because that's a thing that everybody wants to to know and feel the plaza is a safe and, and comfortable place to go and be. Um, I think that's going to make a big difference. I, I know Chief of Police um, Stacy Graves has talked about how she's really anticipating an opportunity to sit down with the new owners and work out a plan. The um, uh, Major Kari Thompson of the Community Engagement Division has already been on the plaza multiple evenings keeping keeping a lid on things and keeping an eye on things and making sure everybody has a, a good time. Mm-hmm. That's really important. What uh, You mentioned the police chief, Stacey Graves. Obviously, the, the police department did announce having more of a presence on the plaza this summer. What do you think it'll take from HP Village Partners? Will it take more private security to go along with it? it is that what um, you know your members and, and business owners down there want? I, I don't want to speculate on how they're going to go about it. I, I just want to confirm that they've, they've named it as a priority, and I think that they're going to do what it takes to get us to a level of security that feels comfortable, that feels like you don't have to worry about. In fact, what you worry about when you're on the plaza is not so much yourself as perhaps your car getting broken into, mm-hmm. um, you know, that kind of thing. So that's going to be the kind of vigilance we expect you'll you'll probably see more of a presence i don't know if it'll be private security uh there's already you know plenty of kcpd police presence but of course we know that our police department is understaffed at the moment and there's a whole lot of reasons why they're a little bit hand tied right at the moment mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what do you see, I mean, with with the sale um, finalized on Friday of the plaza, the announcement, they got a press conference today at 10 o'clock. What has been, as you've seen it, just some of the, the bigger issues with prior ownership that you hope will get addressed with this new ownership? Well, I think one of the reasons we're really excited about this owner is that we know that they're going to come in and appreciate what so many of us love about the plaza, the way it looks, the way it feels, the charm, the architecture, the history, and it's fully their intention to preserve and protect and enhance what is there. They don't want to deviate from the architectural look and feel. So their plans, which I think we'll hear more about at 10 o'clock today, will, will be around what does it take to bring it back up to par, to bring it to a level that we've all for for decades known and loved the plaza as a just a beautiful place to be mm-hmm. um i think you know lots of folks have talked about walkability there may be some sections that are a little more um designed for a pedestrian experience i'm not suggesting they're going to close roads but i think there are lots of ways in some of the streets and roads on the plaza that are broad enough that you can add wine bars and cocktail places and 
They're, they're very focused on using local restaurants and local tenants. So I think we're going to see a, a resurgence of a local presence that people have missed on the plaza for a long time. Mm-hmm. So do you see, uh, Kate Marshall is the uh, president of the Plaza District Council on KCMO Talk Radio. Um, obviously, you know, the price point is always uh, pretty high. So do you see a way to lure those local businesses in to give it some of that local flair? Um, I don't know if it's, you know, rent breaks, rent cuts, whatever it might be. But do you see incentives to get those local businesses down there as you see? You know, that's been something that I've been curious about. Honestly, Pete, I don't know how that's going to work itself out, but I imagine they're going to come up with some solutions because it has been pretty prohibitively expensive to to try to operate a business on the plaza. Yeah. Okay. Now, you mentioned they're maintaining the character of the plaza. There have been some rumors or reports, suggestions that uh, there might be interest in doing more kind of high-rise apartment-style stuff down there. Do you anticipate that being part of the plan while maintaining the current character and architecture that exists, or is it not going to be the case where they could try to build up as much as possible down that way? Well, I think it's important for people to understand that the 15 retail blocks that are going to, that have just changed hands and are now owned by, by HPV Voltio is is distinct and different from the entire plaza. So on the entire plaza, there are encircling it 17 high rises, over 15 hotels, 2,500 <clears throat> hotel beds are actually down in the plaza area. There are office buildings like where CBiz is located and where Locked In is mm-hmm. located, American Century is located. So there is already a lot of high rise um, buildings in and around the plaza, I don't know whether they're going to take any of the property that they own inside those 15 real blocks and build it higher, but we have a zoning that will give them indications about which buildings can go to which height. Mm-hmm. Well, will you be down there today at uh, 10 o'clock, Kate? Is that, is that, you're, you're going to be down there? And, I sure will. Okay. And who will be I down will. there? HP Village Partners, I assume some city council folks, the mayor's office. That's who I expect will be behind the mics, and I think then there'll be a room full of uh, of good media folks wanting to hear all the, all the latest. Yeah. Well, it's an exciting time, and uh, Kate Marshall, we appreciate you being here on KCMO, and we'll be watching today at 10. Well, great. Thank you very much for having me, Pete. We're super excited. You this bet. It's a great, great day for Kansas City. It is. Thank you very much to uh, Kate Marshall for being here on KCMO, the president of the Plaza District Council.